So we were diving and uh, we're looking at a squid and then Michelle immediately screams and turned out there was a large shark following us uh, in the dark at night, which is particularly freaky. Uh, so that was a good time. Michelle, any other thoughts? Oh, that's the time. It's so big. It snuck up on us. I like sharks. We like sharks. I don't know. What's that? Hello from the Belize Aggressor 3. We have not been traveling for about 18 months and now we are back. For the next week, we're gonna be staying aboard the Belize Aggressor 3 live aboard and doing some diving. Uh, one quick recap, uh, dive boats. In case you haven't seen our channel before, what you do on a dive boat is you stay on a boat nonstop without touching land. The entire time you're on here, you are walking around, uh, eating food, diving, sleeping. We, that's the extent of it. You're talking five dives a day, one in the morning, a couple in the middle of the day, and then one dusk or night dive, which is particularly fun as you pull out the flashlights and scope everything out. So we're gonna hang out here, do some diving, open to Belize. Michelle packed a lot of clothes. Come see the walk-in closet. We uh, got 50 bathing suits, we got two cover-ups, we got five Aqualung shirts, we got three wetsuits. Each dive has its own outfit, and as well as different weights. A tutu. And this tutu. Okay, 
Um, boat update, we have been doing a ton of different dives. We're currently on a surface interval, but I gotta say, the one thing I was not expecting on this dive is the number of Caribbean reef sharks we'd see on this dive. They are huge, and they range between six and eight feet. They're very curious, they love to come check out the divers, they'll circle around you on a most recent dive. We had a ton just like moving in and out of the dive group, checking us all out. It's just pretty fantastic to see all of these sharks just coming in. They can get pretty curious, they can come give you the eye, they'll circle you. Just Really, really cool. <laughs> With that, we're about to go diving again, but all I gotta say is cue the shark montage. We are wrapping up our night and we are about to head off tomorrow morning to the most famous dive site in all of Belize and that's the Blue Hole. Um, it's a big sunken cave system that's going to be very difficult for us to navigate to. We've been trying for the past couple days and the light has not been with us but tomorrow is our last day full day diving and I think we're going to make it. So we're going to head to bed and I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully we'll be dropping on the Blue Hole. Let's do this. What's happening? We're going into the Blue Hole. It's going to be deep. There's nothing in there. We're doing it anyway. Okay, one more thing for you to know is that on this trip, Michelle will be hitting her 100th dive. Um, likely to be on the last night of our last night dive. 
which will be really cool. We've been a lot of different places. For her, it's a big milestone, so that's kind of exciting. For those who've been following along the journey in the beginning, we never thought this day would come. Any obstacle in life can be overcome. Try hard enough. Okay, mm, light. I can't see anything. Do you want my hat? No. Okay, we are about to go on our last dive of our last day. It's been a pretty fantastic trip. We've seen some incredible reefs, uh, a ton of sharks, and the occasional turtle sighting, which is always a fan. Here we show. Nice. Um, so we are going to head down on a very chill, very blue day. The water is very calm, so it's kind of just be our last very relaxing way out. So, the trip has been pretty surprising. I think it's been really nice and a very cool trip and just a great way to get back into traveling. So, we will see you again later. Thanks for hanging out with us.